Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this session, we are going to learn about the divisibility tests. We are going to learn how we, can, how we can actually find out whether a particular number is divisible by an other number without actually, you know, following the method of division, okay? This is a widely used method and, and it can even come in your exams like without actually performing the whole division. You need to pr you need to prove whether uh, one such number is uh, divisible by the other number or not. Okay, so let us begin. Now, friends, uh, we'll first begin with the divisibility te divisibility test of the number two. Okay. Now, a number will be divisible by two if the digit at the unit's place is divisible by two. This means that the digit which is there at the units place, you've got ones, no? Ones are the units. The digit at that place should be divisible by 2, which means it could either be 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. If the units, they have any of these five numbers at that place, then you don't need to divide and check. You will just get to know that the number, the whole number, it is divisible by 2. We'll take a few examples over here. Suppose we have 123. Now at the units place we have 3. This means that this number it is not divisible by 2. But if we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 0. We have 0 at the units place. Which means that this whole number it is divisible by 2. No matter how big that number is, all you need to do is check the units place. If it is any of these five numbers, then um, the whole number it will be divisible by two, or else it won't be divisible by two. Okay. Now, friends, um, we'll do the divisibility test. Divisibility test of the number three. So the rule over here is: a number will be divisible by three if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by three. This means that if you want to find whether a number it is divisible by 3 or not, we have to add all the digits of that number. Suppose we have the number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what we have to do is to find whether it is, divis it is divisible or not, we will add 1 with 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 which is equal to 5 plus 4, that's 9, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 5, that's 15. And 15, it is divisible by 3, right? So, this number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is divisible by 3. Now, we can even add 15, we can even find whether 15 is divisible by 3 or not, by adding 1 and 5. So, 1 and 5, that's 6. And 6 is divisible by 3. Okay, we'll take a few more examples. Um, suppose we have this number 1, 2, 3. Okay. So over here 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 1 plus 2 that's 3, 3 plus 3 that's 6. So yes, it is divisible. Um, suppose we have this number 1, 4, 1, 4 and 2. Okay. So 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2. So what is this equal to? 1 plus 4 that's 5, 5 plus 1 6. 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. And 12 is divisible by 3, right? Now we'll take one more example. We'll take an example of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So that's 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is equal to 2 plus 3, that's 5. 5 plus 4, that's 9. 9 plus 5, 14. 14 plus 6, that's 20. And 20 is not divisible. Okay? I hope you understood that all we need to do is we have to add the digits of a particular number. And if the sum, it is divisible by 3, then the whole number is also divisible by 3. Okay? Now, friends, um, we will see the rule of the divisibility test of the number 4. Okay. A number will be divisible by 4 
if the last two digits of that number together both the two digit both those digits together they are divisible by 4 okay so for this we'll take an example suppose we have um, we've got a number 680812 so over here we don't need to look at these four digits that are there in the start all we have to look at is the last two digits that's the units and the tens okay now if these two as a whole as a number that's tens uh, if it is divisible by 4 with that means that the whole number will be divisible by 4 so 12 yes it is divisible by 4 4 into 3 that's 12 so 680812 is divisible by 4 now let's take another example and suppose we'll take 141808 okay so over here again we just have to look at these two digits that's the units and the tens and if that is divisible then it is divisible by 4 so 08 yes it's divisible by 4 4 into 2 that's 8 okay now suppose we have 16181 over here 81 okay is 81 divisible by 4 no, 81 is not divisible by 4. This means that this whole number, it is not divisible by 4. Mm, suppose we've got another number. 984844. Okay, so again, we'll just look at these two numbers. It's 44. Yes, then it will be divisible because 4 into 11, that's 44. I hope you understood this. Um, now friends, let us um, see the rule of the divisibility test of 5. So, a number will be divisible by 5 if the digit at the unit's place is either 0 or 5. So this is so easy, right? Suppose you have a number as 1525. Five. So over here, the unit's digit. All you need to see is the unit's digit, whether it's 0 or 5. So over here, it's 5. So this means that this number is divisible by 5. You've got 200. So it's 0. Yes, it is divisible. You've got 198432. So over here at the unit digit, it's 2, which means it's not divisible because you only need 0 or 5. Um, we'll take one or two more numbers. Um, 184510. So over here it's 0, so that means it is divisible. 13 nine eight four five five so that's divisible and suppose we've got nine eight two eight four six that's six which means it's not divisible um, so friends I hope you understood that all we need to check to find whether a particular number is divisible by five or not is we have to check whether the units place it has zero or 5 over there okay no other number except for 0 and 5 okay um, friends thank you for watching this session I hope you understood how 2 3 4 and 5 they can uh, like we can actually find out whether a particular number is divisible by them or not without actually following the whole process of uh, doing the division in the next session we'll take um, a few more numbers 6 7 8 Okay, um, I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.